Greetings, Dave Berger here from Sharon Lutheran Church. Grace and peace to you from God, the Creator, and from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is amazing to me that we started these Community Connection videos back on March 26th, and tomorrow will mark the beginning of May, or as Justin Timberlake would say, it's gonna be May! When we met as a staff on March 24th, we committed to being present virtually, if we can use that phrase, being present every day with you. We knew that we would focus on worship on Sundays and Wednesdays, which gave us five days each week to connect with all of you in a different way. Hopefully you've been noticing and enjoying, appreciating that daily content from Sharon Lutheran Church. We certainly have appreciated hearing back from you as we wander and wander through these days of uncertainty. When we talk about community connections, we can certainly talk about how our faith community called Sharon can stay connected. We can also talk about how we can connect and meet the needs of the Grand Forks, East Grand Forks community. And we can look beyond as well. I have appreciated our presiding Bishop Elizabeth Eaton's leadership and presence during this pandemic. She has allowed space to grieve, offered hope, and reminded us of our baptismal identity. Here are her words of encouragement and purpose from earlier this week. Weeks may have passed since you last walked in the doors of your congregation and worshiped face to face with your community of faith. Our church and its leaders continue to minister to its members, to those who are hurting and searching for peace, and to those in need. I know that for many of us, this is a time of uncertainty and financial hardship. However, for those of you who are in a position to do more, the needs are great. The ELCA's COVID-19 Response Fund will provide funds to the ministries of the ELCA most in need and best positioned to help. This includes our congregations, as well as local and churchwide ministries capable of reaching and assisting those in need. If you are able, please help with a gift today. Be of good courage, dear church, and remember that Christ is with us now and always. I hope that you hear those words from Bishop Eaton and discover or remember that the church is bigger than any one of us. We are the body of Christ. I'll include a link for more information about the COVID-19 fund in the comments below. I encourage you to follow that link to find out more. And while you're there, if you've got some time, and I think we've all got a little extra time these days, navigate the ELCA website. There are some tremendous resources and reminders of what makes us uniquely Lutheran and what our faith expression has to offer the world. So those are my first two questions for you. What is it that makes us uniquely Lutheran and what does our faith expression have to offer the world? One of the things that I love about our church, and I'm talking big church here, is that we show up. We show up for each other. We serve. We participate in what God is already up to in places near and far. Many of you know that I have served on one of the planning teams for the ELCA Youth Gathering since the 2003 gathering in Atlanta. I've also participated in the planning for San Antonio, New Orleans, twice, Detroit, and Houston. And I'd like to share with you one of my favorite stories. We're going to rewind to 2016. We're in San Antonio, and at the time, there was a service component or a volunteer component, but it was somewhat limited. In that, I mean only 2,000 participants per day were able to sign up and serve or volunteer, participate in service learning. So those folks met in a back parking lot behind the dome in San Antonio, and my friend Phil 
was getting the buses lined up and so on. But really, the folks who weren't serving maybe weren't even aware that there were other people volunteering. It was great for that segment of the gathering population, but out of 30 some thousand to have 6,000 volunteering while a great number uh, maybe was missing a component. And so as the ELCA churchwide office was looking at New Orleans, particularly after the hurricanes and wondering, is this still feasible? Can we still go? Does this make sense? They remained committed to bringing the gathering to New Orleans to put a public face on the recovery, to lend a hand, and to participate in what God was already up to in that space. The other thing they committed to was having every participant serve the city during that stretch of time. They even created a special shirt. Now, I think initially the idea was that this shirt would be for safety so that if they were uh, near the side of the road or in another a highly trafficked area that they would be visible. And I still have mine. They made it orange. And this says Citizens with the Saints, 2012. On the back, this quote from Martin Luther, our faith is a livy, living, busy, active, mighty thing. I want you to reflect on those words during this time. Our faith is a living, busy, active, mighty thing. I was directing the launch from the dome in New Orleans. So that's what we call the sending of participants out to serve. And so we would send 50 buses and line up another 50, fill them and send them and do that five times a day for three days while similar launches were happening from the French Quarter and from the convention center. And as we saw streams of these orange shirts walking down the streets and filling buses. And as the, the news coverage came back, the community came to know these folks, these Lutherans, as the Lutheran Cheetos. We were visible, we were present, we were participating. I'll link some photos below as well. At the end of that gathering in 2012, it's late on a Saturday night, and our team, our transportation team, is up in the very top of the dome in the upper level. And we looked down at all of these participants, many of whom wearing orange, of course, and others different colors that their congregations had chosen to keep their group together for that day. And we reflected on the fact that all of those people we had helped get on a bus to go out into the city to learn, to grow, to serve, and to love on the people of New Orleans. So my final question to you is this. Where do you see a need? How can the church show up? Let's be the hands and feet of Christ however we can, wherever we can. And if you have a need, please reach out. Many people are waiting for a way to help and to provide hope. I miss all of you and continue to pray for you as I look forward to the day when we can all be together again. Be well, friends. Peace. <laughs>